When I put my car away last year, I said something about a carb issue. Well, I decided to pull it off over over Christmas. And through further examination, I can explain what is wrong with my carb. More importantly, what I did to this carburetor has nothing to do with what caused it to fail. Believe it or not, time is the reason. But I'll explain that one in a few. I've worked around carburetors for a very long time, mostly Hollies and Rochester Quadra Jets, and I must say this one is the most intriguing carburetor I've ever worked on. I well, actually played with too. First off, this carburetor is a 1985 carburetor. Yes, my car is a 1984, but apparently the 84 AE86s and 4AC cars got an 85 carburetor. So, if you ever plan on replacing yours, it's an 85. This is an Asian carburetor. It's computer controlled with an electric choke. So, let's go over this carburetor, then I'll explain what went wrong with mine. This is a schematic, or basically an explanation of how a carburetor works. The fuel goes in here, fills up the, the bowl, here's the, flo the float. When the float goes down, which means the, f the fuel is being used, it activates the needle valve, and more fuel comes in filling the float filling the bowl. You have two servos. One is one is for fuel cutoff and the other one is supposedly for uh, um, rev limit or speed limit but that's unknown to be seen. You have the AAP pump. You have a vacuum secondary. Now if we look on here, here's the vacuum secondary. The There's the AAP pump. The fuel would go in here. In order to pull this union pipe off, you need a uh, 17 millimeter. Your identification. Uh, all carburetors have an identification plate. On Asian carbs, it's right here. Here's one of the solenoids. Uh, the other one is over here and here's your throttle valve as you can see the throttle valve is smaller than the secondary the secondary opens by vacuum it normally happens slowly and it opens all the way at wide open throttle if you if this would open with this you basically turned your engine into a bog machine. So there are some modifications you can do to this to make it open a little quick quicker. You open it up and you replace the spring with a lighter one or a smaller one and you go instead of uh, having it open at like three-quarter throttle you can have it open at half throttle. You know that's a hot rodders trick. Um, the electric choke, according to the, the to the, uh, the service manual, this is supposedly for Canada only, which we all know that can't be true because all of them work. Heck, we even have the wire that goes right to the computer. So I don't know why the service manual said that because they all work. This is your accelerator pump. Now and I'll actuate it when you turn. When uh, in the in the owner's manual of my car, it says pump the gas twice before you start it. And what you're doing is you're priming the carburetor. You're spraying two little spurts of fuel into the vent into the uh, primary venturi, which are those weird looking things down here. Here's the secondary. Move that. There's the primary in there. If you uh, there's no fuel in here. What you can do is you can put fuel in there and fill up the bowl and that will prime your carburetor if you've done like first start or something like that. Now on to what is wrong with this carburetor. 
I said time was the problem, and there's a reason for it. Now, for one thing, somebody tried to rebuild this carburetor before and did a, sh a very terrible job. Um, two of the screw heads on top were totally stripped. I couldn't even pull the top of this thing off. Inside here, we have the float. Now, apparently, the company that makes these carburetors decided to make the float out of a plastic that, over time, turns into a giant sponge. And what it does is that it lowers the float, and it constantly causes the, the needle valve to spray more and more fuel in, causing the car to run rich. You know, normally you'd think, well, geez, you just have to replace the float and the needle valve. Well, then I found out something else that was quite interesting. The vacuum secondary on this carburetor has never opened the entire time I've had the car, and that's about two years. So we can almost say this probably this thing has never worked for a very, very, very long time. To replace the, the spring and diaphragm system inside this is $67. And to, to replace the floats, like $25. A needle valve alone is also like $30. So you're already up there really really far up there in the price and so I've decided to get another carb I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna save that for the startup video so be ready for the startup video when you finally get to see what has replaced this you'll probably be greatly surprised the startup video will be soon this is 84 Hachi signing off